how do you coach your tech companies to uh, identify those pain points that organizations are willing to change? Is there some sort of market survey uh, that you guys are consistently doing? Or are you kind of collecting feedback as teams are out there talking to organizations? I, I mean, in, in the perfect world, I would love to coach these tech startups, but I started out, I'm a capitalist, right? You need to make money. You need to pay your people. You need to move forward. So the approach we really do is much more, we've developed a group of um, construction evangelists, construction advocates. And so we talk to them on a regular basis to find out what are their pain points, right? So my favorite call is like, I'm not going to give you the name. So someone called me up and said, look, I got this great new job. I'm in charge of innovation. These are the three problems I need to solve. What can you do to help me? So that's a perfect pain. So the person has um, the power um, and has been given the authority to make changes. And then they have very core, clear, articulated pain points. Because um, I'm a mother of two children and I learned, especially when I turned 13, you need to like, what's in it for them? What do they want to do? Because even if it's the greatest thing in the world that you should do X, Y, Z thing, people don't do that, right? I mean, how many people start diets and stop diets or they decide to go on exercise? They don't. So until it, it's a pain point that they perceive, not you perceive, it's not going to have any solution. And, you know, one of the things that I observed um, is there are these tech serial founders. And silly me, I assumed if you were a tech serial founder, it means you start a company, you made money, you start another company, you made money, you start. This is not, in fact, the case. There's an archetype in Silicon Valley who are serial tech founders because when interest rates were close to zero, they could just keep on you know, finding somebody else to you know, pay or finance their exploration. I don't think that's no longer the case. But so again, I'm, I really think that one is in business to make money. And so if you're going to work with a construction tech company, that's not solving a pain point, that's not somebody that turf wants to do business with. I, we only have limited capacity. We have our reputation and our success comes from repeat business. And if you're not, again, solving pain points that many people feel, they're not going to take your call anymore. They're not going to want to do your demo. And that defeats the point of being a growth advisory company. 